Hi everyone, welcome to A-Level Classical Civilization. We're really delighted that so many people have opted for the course and we really look forward to meeting you when lessons can safely resume. So welcome back to those of you who have studied the subject before. And for those of you who are new, I'm Mrs. Co, and you're all really, really welcome. And we're really looking forward to seeing you in, um, in the new academic year. So I'm going to talk you through the bridging project that you're going to be doing over the summer to prepare you for what we're going to be studying in year 12. You will be studying the world of the hero. Um, this is actually a course that covers the whole two years. So you study the first half of world of the hero, which is Homer's Odyssey in year 12. And then you'll be continuing the second half, which focuses on Virgil's Aeneid in year 13. And that whole course is taught by Mrs. Rowe. And in year 12, I will be teaching you the Athenian Democracy Unit. The bridging project um, is aimed to give you some background to the history and society of a period known as Archaic Greece, um, because the Odyssey was written in roughly 750 to 700 BC. And that is roughly the same time we start studying the Athenian world as well to look at how they developed and changed and um, formed their radical democracy. So you're going to be going through some of the key parts of their history and society. The first task actually takes you a lot further back in time because although the Odyssey was written around 750 to 700, it actually is set around about 1200 BC, um, an age known as the Bronze Age um, and referred to often as the palatial period, meaning that you had kings living in these grand luxurious palaces with lots of wealth and treasure. And we are lucky enough to have some fantastic remains from these and some artifacts. So your first task is going to be doing some research into some of these incredibly significant palaces, um, all of which will come up in, in your study of the Odyssey as well. So these are actual palaces that will be referred to. So you're going to be looking at the remains and what we can learn from those. We will then go on in the second task to look at progress and achievement that was made because this was a period when there was lots of ingenuity and invention and change and new trades were forming. They were no longer just a basic rural society. People were starting to develop new skills and new trades. So it's a really exciting time in history. Task three um, takes you through mapping of some of the really significant places of the ancient world. And these are all places that will come up in, again, in both units that you're studying. So it's really helpful to know where they are so you get an idea of what we're talking about when we refer to these places in our studies. And building onto that mapping task, um, all these places are linked to very significant myths and legends. And so um, you have a research task there to find out about the famous myths and legends of these different places. Because again, these will come up and be referred to. So it's all very useful context. Then um, because seafaring and shipbuilding is a very significant part of the ancient Greek world, it was how they were able to conduct trade, it was how they were able to travel, and it was incredibly significant in warfare as well. So seafaring and shipbuilding was central. And so I've set you a task looking at some of the um, key points of how, how they built their ships um, and what we know about their ships and how inventive and in ingenuitive they were with their shipbuilding. And then finally, the final task I've called the poverty trap. It looks at the massive divide in their society between the wealthy kings and the rest of society who were poor. So society was very much spread apart like this. Um, and we're going to look at how um, unfair that divide was um, as a background to what you'll be studying with me, which is where they start to try and change and reform this and make life better in Greece and try and level the playing field a bit. So that's the historical and contextual background you'll be looking at. We've also set you a reading list and bearing in mind that at the moment, it is very difficult to get hold of books and go to libraries. We have tried to give you as many web links and things you can use from home as possible in the current time. 
So hopefully that's all really clear and um, nice and usable at home. If you do have any questions for us, our email addresses for both myself and Mrs. Rowe are on the main front page of the bridging project. So you can email us to ask further questions or any information about the material. Um, but we really look forward to meeting you and being able to start lessons properly with you and get into the material in the new academic year. So everybody stay safe, have a great summer, and I look forward to meeting you all soon. Goodbye.